Hello everyone. Um, I'm in my bedroom with the door shut. Glenn is in the living room and he is watching an old movie. And I told you before he's got, he should be wearing two um, hearing aids, but he doesn't. So it gets pretty loud. So um, I'm going to tell you the benefits of the uh, salt bar soap that I'm going to be making in there so I don't know if um, it's going to be too loud with the TV when I'm making it so I'm going to get this part um, over with and then I might just put music in the background I don't know but it's not fair for him he don't even know I'm talking about this because you don't watch it so anyways we are going to make um, I think it's pronounced matcha. It's a matcha green tea. It's a Japanese um, green tea that they use and they had been using for centuries. And it's going to be with ginger. It's a salt bar. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of the benefits about using a salt bar. If you can stand looking at this old woman's face. <laughs> All right. Um, the sea salt that we use in um, this recipe and mostly everybody uses the sea salt when they're making a salt bar is 90% um, organic coconut oil 10% and I put macadamia nut oil in it because um, I have had it and it needs to get used in something it is a really really good oil to use for um, absorbing in the skin and not being greasy and then it's going to be 75% uh, sea salt I put aloe vera powder in the um, water to make my life solution and then I'm going to be using the matcha green tea with ginger in it okay so why use a salt bar there are many many reasons um, sea salt is an astringent, and it helps um, heal wounds and acne and things like that. So it's really good to use on your face, but your whole body, especially if you have a breakout with acne all over. Um, and it is known for the ability to draw out toxins and it helps purify wounds and you know that stinging when you get salt in a wound but it is good for it and it's not so bad when you use a salt bar but um, unless you have a lot of abrasions then I just put it in um, on a um, scrubby and then put it on there but anyways um, it helps with a lot of skin irritations um, even though it stings but um, salt bars are really considered to be um, a natural beauty bar and that's why we're going to get into um, the reasons of making it and what I put in it. Um, it exfoliates and it polishes the skin like if you use lotion instead of using you know soap or a salt bar. So and it also lasts a long time because it is very hard. Um, if you use um, a high percentage of coconut oil, it can dry out the skin. The secret is, is that you um, make it a, a real um, high super fat. And normally um, the salt bars are about 20% super fat. Mine are at 25%. And let's see what else. Okay. The benefits of the matcha green tea um, is it's packed full of vitamins. And uh, it has, it is very um, effective as an anti-inflammatory agent. So that's a good plus right there. Um, it is a very powerful uh, detoxifier, uh, especially if it's um, pollutants from the environment, and it will help draw it out. It's a good drawing um, 
has good drawing properties in it. Um, it aids in acne treatment. Um, and the reason it does is because it has the tendency with the properties in the tea has a tendency to decrease the uh, sebum um, production which is the oils, the skin oils. Um, also it is antibacterial and it also helps slow down um, aging uh, from damaged skin um, and it is a great great benefit in helping with uh, sunburned skin so not only did we put it in in this for these these problems um, if you went and you bought um, the green tea the matcha green tea you can make all different kinds of things to um, help with your skin or drink it because it's packed full of vitamins very very good and they have proven uh, through many many studies here in even the United States that it helps prevent um, uh, cancer um, cells from forming, um, or I should say, because we always have cancels, cancer cells, but when they get out of whack, so it helps to keep them at bay. Um, and also, you could make something um, even just with water and a little bit of the ground matcha tea, um, or matcha, 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 I don't Anyways, um, you can take it and you can put it on if you have um, puffiness underneath your eyes or dark circles. Um, it really helps. Just make a mask. It really helps to soothe that. Then we have the ginger in it, which is um, ginger is a skin toner and it helps with the elasticity in the skin. So, that being said, it's good for old skin but I'm always out in the sun I I did too much damage to my skin and I just don't like looking in the mirror <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it alone um, and it also reduces inflammation um, this is also good the ginger is also good for skin problems um, like psoriasis so it's it's a soothing thing it helps draw out um, many um, toxins and um, helps with the circulation by um, bringing the blood up to the top of the skin so it helps with that so renewing of the skin and I think that's about it um, we're gonna get in there and get busy so thanks for visiting me beforehand and um, I will pause this and get busy okay we're back in the kitchen I've been busy all morning um, Gwen wanted some um, some zucchini bread um, zucchini that I grew in the garden last year so he was hungry for zucchini bread so we made that and it's on the on there we made a little one for our labor lady and the big one is for my big guy all right these are the molds that I'm going to be using they're like a half circle it just makes it easier to hold in the hand and I should get that put on this right away because kind of flimsy once you get them going. The nice thing about um, salt bars is it doesn't take 24 hours for it to go through its saponification. It goes pretty fast. So um, anyways we're going to have the uh, matcha green tea from Aztec and um, also um, green tea fragrance in it. And we're going to try to make a little bit of a swirl, but no guarantee. And here is my um, organic coconut oil and the macadamia nut oil. So I'm going to just give this a little... 
salts to get them all mixed in together. I don't want the bubbles in there. Come on now. All right. Let me get my lye solution, and it has the aloe vera in it. So we're going to get that right in there. Got everything measured out. Mm, I get this over here. Okay. I don't know why I've been cold all day. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the fragrance oil. So we're gonna be working pretty fast with this. He's watching every which way but loose. So if you hear it in the background, um, you'll know what it is. It's not John Wayne this time. All right. Let's get this mixed up to emulsifying. Everything's at a cool temperature. There's nothing in there that's heated. Oh, it smells good, you guys. All right. What I'm going to do before I put the salt in there is I'm going to pour off. So I'm going to do like an in the pot swirl. And with this one, I am going to put, and I got some ordered, but it didn't get here, so <laughs> I found this in the store, so that is what I'm going to use. Yes. Um, I like to take this and sprinkle it. it has a little sprinkler to put it on um, all different kinds of stuff. I don't care if it's um, oh, like um, mashed potatoes or if it's a salad or anything like that. I like to put that in there. And I'm gonna put a patty's tablespoon. See. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I'm going to put a little bit of ginger, some more ginger in here because I know it doesn't have that much. And I need a little bit more ginger. So. Put that in. Plus, in here, because I measured out and I took out 
and this is going to be uh, just a colorant, and this is sea salt too. So we're going to mix that up in this part. Hopefully it will just come together. Stuff sets up pretty fast, so we are going to move. I am going to give it a little bit of a buzz. And a stir. I'm all in there. I think I saw some chunks in there. And we'll do this one.
as it ages, it gets milder and milder, but um, you don't have to let it age like you do with uh, uh, Castell soap. Oh, this one's a little too full. Here I go playing. But um, it doesn't age like a, a year for the Castell soap. This one I let age probably about eight to ten weeks. And then it's ready. Um, when I take it out of the mold, I think I'll show you some of the other um, salt bars that we've made. And then you guys will know that they're available. What different kinds. Um, got some really neat ones. So, until then, everyone have a good night. wonderful dreams and blessed with peace. Alright, talk to you later. Bye-bye.